This tape illustrates uses of the Pixar image computer for scientific visualization of volumetric data sets. Many different tools available on the Pixar image computer were used to generate these images. Here, rendering and film loop tools are used to view clouds forming above the Earth's surface. In the first two sequences, weather data is rendered in three dimensions and is superimposed on a bas-relief rendering of the New England coast. This sequence shows the formation of Hurricane Diana. Note that the clouds cast shadows on the terrain below. In this sequence, three-dimensional clouds are shown above a Landsat thematic mapper image of the San Francisco Bay Area. This acoustically forced jet of gas is shown exiting from a nozzle. Blue is mapped to high densities of tracked particles, red to low densities. This cube of data is formed by stacking slices. The image of each slice was captured by a CCD array recording photons from laser excited particles released into the gas jet. Cube tool is used to real-time roam the data examining the interior structure of the jet. This illustrates classic image processing. Here, cross-section, histogram, and fast Fourier transform algorithms are being applied to a digitized photograph. In this case, a jet of gas. The jet is then rendered in three dimensions and individual frames of a flyby are generated. The film loop tool is used to view the flyby in real time. Any desired path can be flown through the data. This image was generated by sweeping a laser through serial sections of a puff of smoke. Cube tool is used to examine the interior structure of the smoke cloud. The structure can also be rendered in three dimensions and viewed as it rotates. To study fluid flow in turbulent boundary layers, dye is injected into water and excited by a laser for imaging. Cube tool is used to study the reconstructed volume. Again, the structure is rendered in three dimensions and viewed as it rotates. Here, cube tool is used to examine the total energy field surrounding a long, thin object moving through the atmosphere at Mach 1.9. The data is the result of a computer simulation. Red represents areas of high energy, and blue shows areas of low energy. This is a three-dimensional rendering of a very simple part found in many mechanical systems. The colors show different levels of stress for complex loading conditions calculated with Patran P-Stress, a stress analysis program. This image of the temporal bones of a human skull is the result of CT scanner images stacked into a volume and realistically shaded. A similar technique allows a cube tool examination of a human pelvis. In this case, magnetic resonance data has been used.
This image is another CT scan reconstruction, in this case of a human chest and shoulders. Here, gradients are used to extract information at each voxel so that traditional computer graphics shading can be implemented. This sequence shows the first complete volume reconstruction of an animal. This image of a sea otter uses 374 CT scans stacked to form a three-dimensional volume of data. In the sciences, engineering, and medicine, we are looking for better ways to analyze and interpret both computer-generated information and natural phenomena. The data sets represented in the demonstration you have just seen could not have been rendered with traditional surface or line graphics. Pixar believes that volume visualization represents a major new tool for science and engineering.